Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my live spiritual event. Anthony Doveton here, Spiritual Medium. Um, thanks ever so, ever so much for everyone joining me today on a cold wintry day, I must add. Um, so great to um, be in the warm and work with, with spirit. Um, even though it is warm, I'm freezing cold because uh, spirit is coming close already today in uh, in abundance, so I must say. So uh, I can see people starting to come on. So say hello to us just to let us know uh, you're there. Oh, hi, Susie. Great to see you. Um, I hope you're well. And um, just uh, what just uh, linking in with the energies right now. I've um, got half an hour, a little bit late today, a little technical issue there trying to get on. Um, but just... Uh, we're, we're back and ready to uh, get everything going. So um, good afternoon to you all. If you have, if you don't know uh, by now, I'm Anthony Doveton, Spiritual Medium. I work with most of the Claire, uh, the, what they call the Claire's, uh, Claire Sentinence, which is feeling, Claire Audience, which is hearing, and um, all, all the other Claire's that go with it as well, and uh, Claire Voyance, which is seeing. I seek um, more to do with spirit in a subjective way. That's um, in my head. They present themselves with their energy and are coming close to me in, in that sense. Um, so that, that's really how I, how I work there as well. Hi, Katie. And hi, Ali. And great to see you, Jane. <laughs> you finally made it, which is brilliant. And oh, hi, Naomi. Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Good, good to see you. So we're um, just going to use 30 minutes um, of my time and, of course, the, the, the time of the live event for today uh, for a great cause with uh, these MBS Angels and Spirit events. Um, and hopefully we'll be going um, physically seeing everyone in March. That's the idea. So fingers crossed to that as well. OK, so no further ado, I'm, I'm just going to go into this as we uh, haven't got much time uh, there. Um, so first things first, as uh, I was linking in before the uh, live event started today, with uh, lots of energy with uh, getting into what's known as the power, getting into a good sense of uh, uh, good sense of realm energy coming in to make sure that everything is coming close for me to get what I need to get. Now, first things first, the name that's drawn to me quite clearly today is you, Julie, Julie Nunn. Um, you're jumping into my awareness, um, your name off my screen. Now, I've got a gentleman who's really sort of jumped in quite quick into my um, auric field, they call it, which is the energy around you. Now, he's coming in with strength. Now, usually when I get something, um, in this kind of way it's usually either the strength through the strength that you require or the strength that he's coming in now i'm not going to choose one because i'm going to say both for you julie because he's talking about strength now he's making me aware with you that you've been either down or a little bit i'm going to use the word depressed but the word depressed means deep rest so it means you find in yourself that's what he's telling me. He's making me aware at night time that you're, he, he's very um, close to you, Julie. He's making me aware that there's an understanding that there's a lot of worry around you, a lot of um, concerns, um, feelings in relation to trying to sort things out. It seems that you've got a lot in front of you. He's showing me sort of like a dinner plate, would you believe? <laughs> a dinner plate with like food food and cakes and things like that now i don't know whether there's some kind of connection with him and food or he liked his food um but i am getting the smell of cooking with this gentleman as well um so he's making me aware of like doing like, like being in the kitchen um doing making lots of different recipes he's showing me lots of ingredients and it's not just focusing on just the main meals he's focusing on like desserts and things like that he's showing me rolling out pastry and that so whether um, whether he's got a connection to do with being a chef or you're a chef, but I'm seeing lots of um, food around him now and uh, that he's presenting him uh, that understanding to me. Um, so going forwards, there seems to be a lot of things that he's trying to bring in some nice positive energy for you, Julie. Um, things that, like I said, are a bit up in the air. Um, but he is also showing me a train now. He's showing me a little train. Now, I don't know whether this means anything to do with traveling for you. Now, I know we can't travel because of this COVID situation, which is very frustrating for us all, even though it's important for our health and, and well-being overall. But the understanding there 
of making sure that you're traveling with full steam ahead. Now it's symbolic I'm getting with this as well. Um, and it's just making sure that it's just keeping you, your heart and your energies in the right place. I do feel with this gentleman with you um, coming in for you, Julie, that he, he, I just feel that he went back to this. When, when I say go back, because we came from the spirit world into this physical existence, we learn while we're here, but he's making me aware that he went back pretty quick from the end of this particular life that he had back back to spirit on a quite on a quite a quick level of transition that's what he's saying to me so i do feel one minute he was here next minute he wasn't and i'm just getting lots of passion and strength from this gentleman he's very assertive so he comes over very military in, in, in his approach so whether he has a connection with the military in his lifetime i wouldn't be surprised if he did um, he is showing me uh, accolades like medals and things like that so he's showing me like a a a uh, uh, it's giving you a pat on the back and saying you've done well where you've come from um, over the last few months. He's given me like 12 months. I'm saying a year. So, yes, this virus and everything's been going for a year. But I also believe there's other things around you, Julie, that's been causing disturbance in your field of energy. So he's coming in with strength and purpose in himself. I do feel he was a strength, a strong man. And I do believe not just strong like muscle strong, but strong in his sense of character. He is showing me with glasses on, but I do feel they were reading glasses rather than just general glasses that I want to wear all the time for general everyday sight. But I do believe it's more to do with reading. He is showing me like uh, newspapers and things like that. And he, he, he is talking about horse racing as well. So I don't know whether he, he was into horse racing or he used to look at the newspaper for horse um like horse um bit like the, uh, the Grand National, that kind of thing, a little bit of a bet on the side or something like that. I do feel he's got a bit of an accent as well. So I'm getting drawn towards the London area, but I don't believe that I'm around London, but I believe I'm around that area. He's not going into detail, but I'm just going to um, uh, bring in that energy in with him, Julia. Okay, so thanks ever so much for working with Julia. I'm going to have to move on quickly as, as time is short. But if you, um, like I say, if anyone does want a one-to-one -one reading, um, please let me know. I'm not begging, <laughs> up to you. But please uh, send me a uh, inbox message if you do want to uh, uh, have a personal message afterwards. If you can, everyone can keep sharing and, and putting the thumbs up and the hearts for me, the love, send out the love and everything. That'd be fantastic. Okay, where are we going now? So just moving on quickly. I'm just coming in. Okay. Um, okay, Sam. Sam Pryor. Um, I'm with you, uh, Sam. And uh, um, I haven't met you before, have never seen your name on my screen before. So welcome uh, to my uh, event, my 30 minutes event today uh, for MBS. So um, first of all, straight away, I've got two people coming in for you, uh, Sam. Um, I've got a, a man on one side. I haven't had a split link like this really this quick since probably about a year ago. So this is quite interesting for me as well as for you. Um, very exciting energy coming in, Sam. Complete opposite to um, the last connection there. Um, really exciting. I've just seen like ticker tape, um, which is like ticker paper. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it looks like confetti or sugar paper, like blue, yellow and red. Now, I don't know whether that's a particular um, understanding with colour, but I'm getting drawn to the colour actually, as I'm feeling it, as I'm talking and, and coming in, my emotions coming around the throat now. Now, it's not crippling me like it has been in past events doing uh, mediumship work, but it's real sort of like a celebration feeling around you, Sam. Now, I'm, I'm also, um, I'm getting two different or three different things that are coming in. And because spirit are really, really um, coming in with loads of different conversations for you, and I would love to work with you on a one-to-one -one level as well, Sam. Um, just, just generally saying that because I've got so much to say, but I, I, I can only say so much, which is a little bit frustrating for me. But I've got, uh, I feel like I've got husband and wife. I, I wouldn't be, be, I wouldn't be uh, completely shocked to say this is mum and dad, but I feel that they're together coming in. Um, that the. <sighs> The lady who's presenting herself to me it looks like she's had permed hair or she's had like wavy hair or some something of that 
description. I feel that this lady used to colour her hair because I believe that at one stage in her life towards the end, I feel that I'm going grey or I am grey, but I want to dye my hair. Now, I feel that she's taken me to a, a hairdresser's or a salon because I feel the emotion she's bringing in, I feel that is correct because I'm getting that 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 loving connection, that that togetherness with her and me working together in this way today. She's showing me, like, um, like I said, going to a hairdresser's or a salon and I'm having my hair coloured as or permed as well. But I feel this lady used to change her... Um, change the shade of her color of her hair um like different dye different colored dye on a on a different level on a different time frame but i really feel a nice subtle energy with this lady i feel she's coming over to me whether she was to you or not but she's coming over to me as very gentle now she's she can be a little bit feisty she's telling me but i'm also getting a general gentle feeling as my throat is going now as people know what i'm like my throat goes and she's really coming close to me right now for you, uh, Sam. Uh, so lots of vibrant colour, but the colour not only around her, but around you. And this lady in spirit is mentioning that you're a healer. And if you're not a healer, I'm pointing my finger. So I apologise, but I'm coming over strong that you should be healing more. And if you're not already a healer working on a stand or working in a practice or a room out the back of the garden or something, you should be. That's what I'm getting from this lady. She's saying that you've been through a lot of trauma. She's coming in, showing me and making me aware of that because I'm feeling this emotion with this lady. <clears throat> but also she's making, she's also saying to you, like the previous contact, she's patting you on the back as well. She's also saying there's something wrong with your neck or your shoulders. I don't know whether it's tightness or whether I've got some kind of complaint from a skeletal level or a muscular level, but I feel that I want to massage your shoulders or massage your neck or give you some kind of healing yourself. I feel that there's pressure over the head or the the, uh, the forehead or the eyes. So whether that you've been suffering from headaches or some kind of pressure around the head, I wouldn't be surprised there as well. But going back to this colour, I do feel that there's some kind of celebration around you, Sam, or around the distant or around the either distant or close family. But I'm getting the number 12 with you. Now, it's either number 12 you live at, the house of number 12, or there's 12 people, either immediate or close family, around you because I'm seeing a house with 12. It's either meaning 12, the number 12 of the house, like I said, or 12 people in different houses all together equaling either 12 people, family around you. But I'm also getting that other celebration factor coming in for you, which is also a child coming in from spirit back into the physical world as, as a baby is, is on its way for you. Not for well, maybe for you, Sam, but definitely um, I'm seeing a baby around you, whether it's you're going to be giving birth or whether there's a baby um, around you that's coming into this physical world. Before I move on quickly, I've still got this gentleman. Really nice chap. Really, I'm going to say chap rather than man or guy because I'm saying he's a chap. I'm thinking I could be best mates with this guy. I feel like um, really, yep, yeah, emotion again. Whoa, whoa, okay, <laughs> right, I know there's a lot of emotion coming in here, but he's come in and then shot out again, but the, um, this gentleman is just really, really happy, really happy for you, Sam, now, whoa, hang on, hang on, thank you, you can give, some, give me some air to breathe, <laughs> okay, um, Yes, he's just really, really happy. I'm glad I've got my energy back in line now. <laughs> um, he's just really, really happy to because he's um, not come through in this um, kind of way before, Sam. I just feel that he's not come through before. Um, that's what I feel. Um, very, very intelligent man, Sam, this man. I just feel that I'm really brainy. I feel like I'm on a keyboard. I feel like I've got um, a keyboard in front of me because I'm on my computer today. But I just want to get on the computer and I just want to start tapping away. Um, 
I feel with this gentleman it's connected to financial aspects. Now, whether he had a financial job or a, a um, I'm just I'm guessing, I'm throwing things out. I'm just admitting that I'm guessing with this um, because I want to say an accountant or working with insurance or something like that. But I'm getting that kind of thing. He's putting a, I know I've got a shirt on today, but I want to put a shirt on with a tie. I want to be in an office. I am going away from my home and I want to go into an office building to work basically, all right? So it's just a little bit of information there, but he's just bubbling. He's he's just full full of energy, full of happiness. Lots of um, love around him. He's showing me hearts. He's showing me thumbs up. He's clapping. Um, it's just a lot of emotion and a lot of happiness and directing that love with um, with with passion towards you, Sam. So. I'm going to leave it there because I'm going to need to have enough energy to talk for the next one. Lots of energy, lots of power, lots of determination for you, Sam, to keep your chin up and be strong for, for them as well as for yourself. Thanks ever so much for working with me. Right, I'm going to get my breath back now. Cool, that was, a, that was strong. Okay, keep sharing and, and keep putting the hearts up and thumbs up, everyone. Thanks ever so much. Lovely. Hi, Tanya. Good to see you. Hi, Mandy. Good to see you too. Hi, Derek. And hi, Mary Bennett. Lovely to see you. Okay. Tanya. Not, Tan not Tanya, um, who I know, but Tanya Ky uh, Kyan, Ryan. Sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong there. Um, right. Tanya. Tanya Kyan. I'm with you. I'm definitely with you. Now, for some reason, I have a feeling that I've met you before. Now, if um, I feel that I've met you at an exhibition before, I don't know what that is. I just have this feeling. I, I think you're on my spiritual page, but I just have this feeling um, that, I, that I've met you before. Uh, okay. Because um, I see dark hair to here. Now, I believe that's you, uh, Tanya. Anyway, moving on swiftly. I've got a lady coming in. Um, she's she's also um, this lady coming in with direct purpose and she comes in this lady with like a counselling role. Now, I feel this lady's coming in as a, either as a counsellor. I'm not saying she was a counsellor in life. Wouldn't be surprised if she was because she's got that natural gift anyway. And at the end of the day, we don't change our characteristics when we go to spirit. We're still us. It's just that we don't have this physical transport uh, that we call the human body. All right. Um, this human body is still energy, it's just more physical, they're still energy, we're still energy, we're just in this shell, they've come out of that shell, but they're still them. It's just that sometimes uh, we can't see them, but it doesn't matter, because everything else is still alive and kicking. Apart from our human eyes, if you can or cannot see them, it doesn't actually matter, because they can give you everything else apart from foresight. Now, it's interesting I'm talking about sight because I'm also getting spiritual understanding through vision. Now, the vision through understanding, through the information that I'm getting is that saying that you could be a medium. That you, uh, um, Tanya, sorry, I forgot your name there. <laughs> you could be a medium. You could should be sitting here where I am. Um, and um, to be fair, Spirit are telling me that I can help you as well. So if you want to connect with me, we can do some kind of work. Um, to, to be able to help your mediumship. I have to say this because they're telling me and I feel that's right. So um, don't usually say this to people, but I have to for you. Okay, so going back to what this lovely lady's saying. Um, with this lady, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a type, uh, not a typewriter. I am seeing a typewriter, but it's not a computer. It's a typewriter. So with, whether she used to do letters or novels or create her own writing. But I do feel this lady in spirit used to do um, typing on a typewriter, not a computer. And I feel that she used to write letters to people or she even used to write her own um, like short stories or short books or something. Because I feel that I want to type loads. Um, but I, it's a t and I'm pushing this thing backwards and forwards. And I feel it's the typewriter bar that you would hit forwards and you type again and you hit it again. Lots of ink. Um, I can see and I feel like the ink might have smudged or blotted on one of these letters or 
Um, and she's saying that you've got letters in a drawer at home, either in the lounge or in a bureau or in, a, in some kind of um, suite or whatever it is with drawers in it. And I feel these handles and the drawers are either metal or they, they're quite ornate as well, whether they're brass or like looks like gold, but not quite. Um, and she's also saying there's photographs in there and there's also thimbles. Uh, whether she used to do like needlework because she's making me aware that she did this lady in spirit for you, uh, Tanya, because I'm seeing thimbles. I'm seeing like thimbles. Um, so I don't stab myself in the finger with a needle because I want to do sewing. I want to do uh, knitting. I can hear these uh, knitting needles like clinking together. I feel that I want to, um, <laughs> she's presenting me a scarf as well now i don't know if she made you a scarf or a set of gloves or something whether when you were younger or something like that because i'm seeing these gloves with a string on them that goes through your coat and comes out the other end there's the emotion so that she's really close as well today <clears throat> and i'm seeing different colors of like wool whether these were the different colors on the glove coming down with different colors that she knitted in together i feel she's really talented uh tanya this lady I feel she's just really talented with her, not with her, uh, and, uh, her, her head, but also her hands. Now, I don't know what this is. Um, before I go on to that, I'm also getting a sewing machine. I, I literally seeing the needle going up and down. I feel like I've got my foot. Uh, I feel like I've got my foot on the pedal. And uh, she's saying that you need to put your foot on the pedal as well in life as well. She's saying you're a little bit stagnant at the moment in your life. Something to do with work is a bit stagnant or you're getting a little bit frustrated that things aren't going quick enough or moving on quick enough. She's saying that you're looking on the Internet a lot at the moment, like researching stuff or researching jobs or something to do with that. Um, she's making me aware of that as well. Now, I don't know what this lady with she she's, looks like she's going like this to me. But it's basically, I don't know whether she used to do sign language or there was people around her that were deaf or something, because I feel like my hearing's going, but then my hearing's coming back, uh, Tanya. So I don't know if you can understand this, someone around her or someone uh, around you that she's referring to or something she's referring to about some something or someone related to, the, to being deaf. Because I feel like I want to do sign language with this lady. I feel like I want to do sign language. And it's quite interesting. So I'm going to leave that love and that lots of that information with you, uh, Tanya. So thanks ever so much for working with me today. And uh, I'm going to move on quickly to the next one. Just get my energies back with this water again. Hi, Evita. Good to see you. <coughs> lots of energy here today. A bit of sunshiny where you are because it's snowing where um, where we are. Right, next one, moving on. Oh, I can't get past your name, Susanna. Susanna Finch. Lovely to uh, get the opportunity to work with you today. And um, as you can tell, the emotions are really, really high with my frequency of energy field today. So, Susanna... Um, Lots of uh, different energies coming in now. There's more of a grounding sense of coming in. Uh, send my love to Wayne as well. Okay, just have to cut. Just one's going. One that your energy, um, love and spiritual energy is coming in there. So it's a sudden wait there for a change in energy. So that's um, absolutely fine. Bear with me just a sec. Right. Okay, now I've got a gentleman coming in here, Susanna. He's coming in with, it's very calm and it's quite nice to have a calm kind of feeling coming in compared to all this energy and excitement that I've been getting so far today. Now he's coming in in a pin, he looks like a pinstripe suit and he's got, an, it looks like a navy suit. Uh, trousers and jacket, dark navy with a white, slight white pin uh, striped suit. V very immaculately dressed, Susanna, this gentleman. I am getting the draw towards dad or granddad with this gentleman for you. And he's just presented a bunch of carrots to me. 
and it's interesting that someone has present a bunch of carrots to me dressed in a suit but spirit work in a in in a interesting crazy ways sometimes but i just get this connection towards um an allotment of this gentleman or something to do with vegetables i'm getting a draw towards carrots and now I'm, sh I'm sure this makes sense to you because it doesn't to me now just bringing in that essence of spirit if other people today don't get messages because we've only got a short period of time it's the power of the energy of spirit coming into affect all of your lives and affect all of our lives so it doesn't matter today if you don't get a message but the ones that do get a message today just know that it's your turn basically all right don't shoot the messenger um just understand that there's a bigger picture a bigger um a, a bigger understanding why um certain people get messages and some people don't but like i say thank you ever so much for supporting me with this um with this mediumship demonstration so susanna i haven't forgotten i haven't lost the link but this gentleman um i do feel going back to the uh, understanding of granddad or or um father I, I, all i see is him um today but he's just saying um, he's talking about grounding. Now, I talk about grounding, but I know that I'm digging with a fork and I know I'm dealing with the ground, but I'm also um, getting an understanding that this guy is an absolute perfectionist. Now, I, I, he's, I use the, the terminology of crossing every T, dotting every I, that kind of thing. And um, it's, it's just making me aware that this guy is so particular. Um, he's, he's saying you've been through a lot. He's saying you've had to, and he's also saying you've had problems with houses. Now, I don't know whether this is a problem with finding a house or moving house. I know, I know where you, I know that you've got a house. I know you live together with Wayne. I know you've got a house and I, I, I already know that. So I'm not going to make this fit. I'm not going to be one of those mediums that create make up stuff because I, I don't believe in that at all. But what I do believe is that you will be moving house again. I hope that makes sense. Nothing to be frightened of because he's making me aware there's a bit of anxiety around you, the way you, you think, or there's a, some kind of you, you talk yourself out of a situation when sometimes you should be talking yourself into a situation. We all have fear and we all have this, um, this, this internal strength, this internal voice that we need to listen to rather than the monkey mind, what um, sometimes that some of us, listen to more than the real voice that's in the stomach or the heart all right it's go with your true feelings if you feel that you need to do something do it rather than suffer in silence that's what this gentleman is saying i know you've got a lot of love you've got a lovely family you've got a lovely uh, partner lovely uh, other half there who um, is supporting you and always has supported you and always will um but there's an also uh, feeling coming in now of of traveling to somewhere where where there's a spiritual connection <clears throat> i need to drink lots of water there's so much emotion today it's unbelievable um yes there's you need to go to somewhere where there's a spiritual center what I call a spiritual center, Susanna, is a portal, whether it's to do, like Stonehenge or somewhere like that. The emotion's there, so it's coming in. <clears throat> and there needs to be something like to do with offerings or something. It feels very old fashioned feeling coming in that this gentleman's bringing in. <clears throat> it feels like there's like some kind of ritual. Now, I don't know whether there's a ritual at home or you've got like a fire pit or you want one or something of that description, because I want to take you and Wayne and put you somewhere. I want to put you somewhere in the country, somewhere else. God, the emotion is so strong. And I want you to connect with the land. <clears throat> apologies everyone i want you to connect with the land i want you to connect with your your true selves your inner selves
and I want you to understand this too. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of purity and a lot of awareness in your soul. And I want you to find, find yourself. That's what you're saying. You need to find yourself. Right. I'm going to move on, Susanna. So thank you for um, working with me. Sorry about all that emotion, but very, 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 um, very focused on what you need to do and find find your true self. Thank you ever so much. I'm just going to move on. And um, I'm just going to give it, Amanda, I know you're watching, one more, one more reading, if that's okay. I'm going to, and uh, as that energy is now shifting, I thank in spirit that I'm now back with my true feelings of who I am rather than being taken over in a way there um so in a slightly altered state of awareness there so just so everyone knows i don't do trance but that was actually quite close so i'm um, just going to leave that energy and park the bus there i hope susanna you can take that and uh, lots of love to you hi leslie anthony lovely thanks for the blue heart um if everyone can find do your final thumbs up and hearts and shares for me that would be lovely right heather heather stratton uh, lots of emotion, as you can see, that I'm going through today. So hopefully um, I can work with you in a much more clearer state of emotion. So Heather Stratton, um, last but not least for today's uh, mediumship demonstration. I wish it was longer sometimes. <laughs> but last but not least, best one goes last. So I put my head on the block saying that. Now, right. Okay. Okay, now I've got, I've, I don't know whether, you, right, I don't know whether you're into like history, Heather, because I'm seeing loads of history books. Now I'm seeing um, pictures of look like Tudor people. Now I don't know if you follow history, but Tudor, the Tudor era, like Anne Boleyn and um, Catherine Parr and people like that, like Henry VIII's wives, basically, if you don't know who they are. I'm seeing people in that kind of dress that kind of outfit around you, Heather. So I don't know what this is, but I hope you can understand this in this interest that spirit is bringing to my mind. An interest in education is coming in. An interest not only with the education of history, but I'm getting geography. Now, I'm getting a lady coming in now who's coming across like a school teacher. She's coming across very, I wouldn't say dictatorial or strict, but she's coming in very, not I would say stern, but more sort of focused and direct with how she's presenting herself to me. And I'm going to, this is going to be a short reading because I've, uh, Heather, sorry about that, but I'm going to give it to you as much as I can. But I would, once again, with yourself, I'd love to work with you one to one and finish this reading or continue this another time because I do believe that this connection is actually quite easy for me, for my energy to pick up on and take step, take off where I left off from. So apologies if I cut you short. Okay, so this lady's coming in like a school teacher. I feel she's either got a stick in her hand. I don't know if it's a cane or something, but I feel like I want to point at the blackboard or something or a whiteboard, you know, pointing at something. I feel that I'm seeing mathematical symbols in front of my eyes now. I'm seeing pluses and take away and divide and times. And I want to make sure that everything is calculated properly as well. I do feel that this lady was very, also wore glasses. I do feel that she worked in a, a some kind of um, uh, industry that involves money. So whether this was at the bank or whether this was to do with finances or insurance. I know I mentioned this uh, earlier with another link, but I feel it's something to do with uh working with maths, mathematical symbols. Um, I feel that I'm quite educated. I also feel with this lady uh, for you uh, that she used to play an instrument. I feel like I used to play a musical instrument or I used to have this real fascination and love for music. I am actually getting classical music coming in, like um, Beethoven and Mozart, Mozart and that kind of music coming in. I've never, ever had this kind of 
um, message come in before from Spirit playing that kind of music. So I really do feel um, that she has a real interest in music, this lady, and she's really coming in with lots of volume. I feel like I've got an old um, music player, one of those ones that you either wind up or it's got like a trumpet coming out, like a big trumpet kind of thing. I feel that this lady would have been either would have been interested in antiques as well or she had antiques in her house or something of that description because I feel that I would that she lived in a quite a, a quite a nice size house now but what I mean by a nice size house is not horrendously big but I don't feel it's really small either so I feel it's a bit like my house that I'm living in here is fair sized rooms to the house, the kitchen, the living room, that's kind of, I don't feel they're small rooms. I feel they're quite nicely presented space, uh, space, uh, nice space, for, um, yeah, nice space within the rooms. And um, I just feel that she knew her stuff about like uh, whether they were antiques um, or these different kinds of items she's showing me plates like plates that you wouldn't eat off that you would present like on a stand like plates on a stand like china plates or something like that with patterns and things like that i'm also getting things um going towards like asia like uh, items like china or india these countries like that i'm getting drawn towards countries with this lady but also items that she bought or people brought to her from when their travels now um we're going way back now um in time with this lady so I, I wouldn't be surprised if people used to travel by boat in them days like um you know to australia you would go on a boat but it would take months or that kind of thing but would come back and these people came back with items so very interesting lady i feel she's a little bit um What's the word? Eccentric. I feel this lady's a bit eccentric. I feel that I'm a little, uh, you know, like a, I'm not going to be horrible to this lady in spirit, but, you know, very, a, a tip, it's like a librarian kind of person, very uh, eccentric with her actions, how she would speak, how she would present her facial expressions. Very, I feel like I've got a, a, a little bit, um, a little bit well spoken as well. Um, I feel like I've educate, educated vocabulary as well the words she would choose as well i feel that this lady's not very big i feel she's quite slim i don't feel she's very tall either i feel she's about five 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 six five eight at the most that's not me guessing but that kind of range of uh, height so i'm just going to leave that information with you heather i hope that makes sense i'm sure it does um as well and um, but i would like to work with you on a one-to-one -one level so um, I have gone over time. Apologies, Amanda, for that. But um, 37 minutes is on my clock. So what I'm going to say is thank you ever so much for putting up with me today with my high amounts of emotional frequency during this uh, mediumship demonstration. Lots of thanks goes out to Amanda and Jackie for what they do. Fantastic stuff they do uh, with this uh, MBS event. Uh, hopefully we'll be going um, um, physical uh, with this, uh, our uh, events in March. Um, but for now, love and light to you all. Thank you ever so much. See you soon. Bye for now.